Hey everyone, this is Brian Colbrubius. In this video, we're going to have a look at Flipgrid Shorts. Flipgrid Shorts is a way to record a video lesson similar to what you would do with Loom or a Screencastify. Flipgrid allows you to create up to 10 minute video lessons for your students. From the main page, after you log in, click on the Shorts tab at the top. Under Shorts, you can click on Record a Short. This will activate your camera and then give you your recording screen. Near the bottom, you can simply click on the Record button. You get a three second countdown and look into your camera and you're live. So you're automatically recording. It gives you a timer at the top to let you know how many minutes and seconds you have left. After you're done, click on the pause button and this will end your recording and then click next. So here I've recorded about 10 seconds worth of video. If you look at the bottom, you have a timeline that shows the video you've just recorded. If you click on this segment, it brings you to this edit screen. The edit screen gives you handlebars at the front and at the end of your video. You can pull these handles in to trim your video if you have a little extra fluff in the beginning or the end. Then click on confirm and now you've trimmed your video. You can add more to your video. You still have several minutes left to add to your video if you want to. Click the add more button. And then from here, you can record yourself again. Um, you could also take your document camera, point it at some sort of material. If you're an art teacher and you want to draw an art project or a math teacher, you want to show how to solve an equation, you can do that. Or click on options. And then under options, you have record screen. This is a great way to demonstrate something on your computer for your students. Click record screen and then click start screen recording. That will allow you to choose what you want to share. From here, I'm just gonna click on the Chrome tab so I can show um, just a Chrome window. So this could be a slideshow presentation or view a website. Click on share and you will be able to share the screen. So now I'm showing my screen. I have a countdown at the top showing how long I have left. In the bottom right hand corner, I'm gonna drag this into view. I have uh, kind of a picture in picture of myself. So you could include yourself in this screen if you wanted to. You can size this down to make it a little bit smaller. You could drag it around to move it wherever you want to. So from here, you could do a screen recording of a demonstration on your uh, computer for your students and have a picture in picture of yourself here. Once you're done with this, click stop recording. So now we're looking at a kind of a preview of your entire video. You have two segments. You have the first one where I did about 10 seconds just showing my face and uh, a few more seconds of me showing my desktop. If I mouse over the second segment, I can click on that. And from here, I get the same edit window so I can trim my video. So I can trim from the end, I can trim from the uh, front. I don't see a way to remove anything from the middle. So that's something I would like to see here, but I don't. Um, I know Loom has that, which is kind of a great advantage of Loom. Uh, once you're happy with this clip, click on confirm. And now you're able to preview your entire video. So it shows you the entire sequence down below here. After you finish your video lesson, click next, and you can do a cover photo. By default, it'll try to find a snapshot to include for your video. May not be the most um, photogenic, but if you want to, you can click on select frame. And from here, move the playhead somewhere in your video and have that be the screenshot for your video. Uh, or you can take a selfie and include a picture of yourself. And with that, that'll be the cover for your video, kind of like a thumbnail for a YouTube video. Click on confirm to save the selfie. Here you can give an optional title and click confirm. Now you have this video, you want to share it. You have a couple different things that you can do. If you click this copy link button, that will copy the link to your, uh, to your clipboard so you can share it uh, as a link. Now you may want to download this video to your computer or save it to your Google Drive. To do that, click on the video to view it again. Go to hit pause. Then from here, there is a blue share button. Click this share button. And from here, you have a lot of options. You can download it directly to your computer or share it to Google Drive. So that's it. That's a quick overview on how to use shorts to record video lessons. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know if I can help.